The name of the game today is the Tri-Pack Battles of the American Revolution. Uh, the game comes with uh, a rule book of common rules for all three games, and then each of the three games has a separate rule book uh, for the, the rules that are unique to that particular game. Uh, today we're going to be playing Saratoga. Um, on, within the Saratoga rulebook there's a scenario uh, which is uh, shorter than the actual full game. That's the historical scenario Freeman's Farm. Uh, we have at this point done the setup. Uh, the British are the red brown uh, chits. You can see we've got uh, some chits. Uh, there are basically uh, two points that uh, uh, we have to we are fighting over. Right now, this one is controlled by the British. And this one is being controlled by the Americans. Temporarily. Uh, the game will last uh, from turn 8 to turn 11. You see that resource uh, or reinforcements come in for the Americans on 9 and 10 and for the British on 10 and 11. Uh... Also note that the British have many, many, many more guys than the Americans. Yes, the these guys down here uh, can't come in until these two guys, these guys can't come in uh, until the second turn, something like that. I think when no re you, yeah, when your reinforcements show when up, my reinforcements, well, the second the turn. turn. Yeah, uh, and. This giant stack and these two other stacks uh, can't be used until an American uh, uh, you, you're like army or yeah. moves past them or touches them somehow. So, this is the Battle of Freeman's Farm. It's the end of turn one, and some, I some consolidated this this road here so I put these I moved one guy up here and I moved uh, Morgan's Rangers from over here to here so basically I just consolidated my forces and um, then I'm waiting for reinforcements all right so uh, Phillips over here who is having tea or something because he's British uh, is uh, coming into the woods with his gun. He's a gun. It's a large gun. It's actually a really good gun. I can remember that. Um, these uh, fine non-traitorous lads are marching through the woods to go kill some traitors. Uh, I moved my big stack of doom up into a farmhouse to get some organic kale and a victory point. Uh, and the other big thing is we did roll for initiative. You have to roll for initiative after the first turn. The first turn Americans have initiative and the last turn Americans have initiative but in between you have to roll the British won the roll so they are going first which doesn't allow me to get my guys until turn three right. I just realized right so that's bad uh, this was a bloody turn uh, first the British tried to take Tried to flank up here and uh, wipe out the third New Hampshire. Uh, they ended up retreating, but they retreated to the loving arms of Benedict Arnold. Who will never turn traitor. Um, who is the best. Um, and then they turned around and counterattacked. I hate that. You can counterattack. The 20th and the 21st Fusiliers. Uh, I also got the uh, second New York came in as reserve. The second New York and the fourth New York came in as reserves and immediately moved up and took on the 21st Fusiliers there. Um, 
And it was a slap fight and everyone ran away. It was a slap fight and everyone ran away. Everybody retreated. But luckily I retreated to our hill that we have to keep. And then Benedict Arnold took on the 20th Fusiliers there. Um, and actually did really well. Uh, he reduced them. Which means they didn't run away. They didn't break. They are now half the strength that they were. Uh, going second was good for me here. Uh, then uh, Morgan's Raiders came down the road here um, and attacked, who did they attack? They attacked the 24th, uh, disrupted them. They're scary. Uh, the, the 24th ran away and are now disrupted, and they caused the Spangenberg Artillery uh, to retreat one hex uh, and you'll notice I'm getting closer here to to my hill that I have to take but I'm still avoiding the stacks of doom but this turn now uh, these guys can come into the fight which is bad um, for you for me roll this initiative on camera because this is really important okay so we have to roll initiative who goes first matters also, oh, the other big thing is I took away two of Ian's morale. I'm working on his morale, and my morale is as high as it can possibly be. It's really, we, we are that awesome. One guy, that one guy was really hurt. We are awesome, and we're going to roll the dice now. I got a three. I got a seven. That's way more than three. Oh, so victory. you get to go first, go which is going to be bad it's for so gonna be for so Britain. bad for you. Uh, do you want to say anything? I'm just gonna hold on. That's that's my strategy. Um, well, this is bad, but the, I got these guys now. Yeah, they're coming and in. Some guy, and some Germans. And the Germans are coming. Uh, Although, hilariously, the German general that is going to arrive doesn't speak English, and so none of the actual English troops will listen to him. He has to be stacked with the green troops, not the red troops. Okay, it's the end of turn three. So bad. So, so bad. So, so the brave... General... The brave... They're going in the eliminated so units box? He, he was so brave, and then he rolled a freaking zero, and I had a minus one, and then he died. And he was, attacked. Yeah. And He's in attacking job, Benedict yeah. Arnold, he shot himself in the head. Or fell off his horse. It had been known to happen. We're not sure exactly what happened. Uh, it was a really bad roll. And when you roll really badly, you can kill yourself. And apparently it tanks your entire army because I don't think... Oh, yeah, look at this morale. See, we, we <laughs> Everything started went at bad 14 forever. and now I'm at 15. You see that 15 there? Where is... No, you don't see the 15 because that's where your marker is. Where are the oh, British? Oh, wait, let's go down. Oh, no, they're... Oh, Here oh, I am. Oh, there they are. I'm keeping calm and carrying on. Now, you'll notice that uh, the wind condition is get the uh, either side down to four. So... Two more bad hits, and the the Americans win. Things that have been going badly for me, both Morgan's Raiders and the 1st New Hampshire uh, were disrupted uh, during the British turn. Those, those are things that happened that were good for the British during the British turn. They ran away. Uh, the 1st the New Hampshire rallied, but Morgan's Raiders are still... Just wandering the woods, going, what happened, what happened? Well, they're so sad because I'm so much better shots than they are. And uh, now we've, we've secured our hill, and we're moving down to take this other hill. Oh, look what's happening here. Uh, it looks bad because Cook's Connecticut Militia and uh, the Dearborn guys are seem to be surrounded by the British here. Um, but... Uh, you'll see that the Jaegers here are on the hill that we need. You see, this last turn, I automatically get initiative. We agreed to that as part of the scenario. So We didn't agree to it. The book told us to do uh, it. Yeah, the book told us to do it. Um, and you notice all these guys here? They're just having to... They're just, they're, they're just they're having hanging out in the woods. Lawn chairs. I, um, because I haven't approached within one hex of them, so they don't know any of this is happening. They're just sitting there in They're the woods. In your pocket dimension in the middle. Not of doing the nothing. Middle. But it's looking good for the Americans at this point. 
Um, America. Mostly, uh, oh, also on victory points, we've captured some artillery and some uh, British regulars over there. Uh, so that's good. Um, uh, where I really won the game was I got inside his head, and um, I'm not sure any of this is taping. You'll notice at this point that I say I'm not sure any of this is recording when in fact everything was recording, and then I proceeded to shut off the recorder, so nothing further recorded. Uh, what happened is that uh, the Americans won on morale. Uh, two more defeats for the British caused the morale, their morale to drop below four, uh, and the Americans immediately won as the British uh, fled the field. Uh, it was a good game. Uh, we both enjoyed it. And uh, basically, I won because I kept uh, choosing the correct tactical card, uh, which allowed for uh, negative modifiers for Ian. Um, and basically, when Burgoyne fell off his horse, uh, that was pretty much it for the rest of the game. So, uh, big thumbs up, good time. Uh, Americans win the Revolutionary War. Yay.